Our final alumni award goes to Bruce Crandall. Bruce Crandall graduated in 1951. In high school, he was an All-American baseball player. This is 1946, Garfield, when Bruce was in the seventh grade. Now, he's not here tonight, but uh, George Brockway sends his regards. Bruce's aspirations to play professional baseball uh, were cut short when the Army drafted him in 1953. Bruce Crandall became a helicopter pilot and flew lead ship on 756 missions in Vietnam. Bruce Crandall was decorated for heroism in aviation. The 2002 movie, We Were Soldiers, featured actor Greg Kinnear, who portrayed Mr. Crandall on some of his missions. Retiring as a lieutenant colonel, Bruce Crandall then served as city manager in Dunsmuir, California, and as manager of public works for Mesa, Arizona, until his retirement in 1994. In 2007, he was honored by President George W. Bush with the Congressional Medal of Honor. You have a large group of lifelong fans in this room tonight, Bruce. Sir, for your long and very distinguished list of accomplishments, your great service to our country and the inspiration you have given to many people throughout this great country of ours. Tonight, we induct you into the Olympia High School Hall of Fame as a distinguished alumnus. Thank you very much, this is a great honor. I had the uh, great honor of leading a wonderful unit in the service in our country, and, and I uh, received that uh, award for that, and I, I wear it for all others that uh, served and some that didn't come back. There's 105 Medal of Honor recipients in the uh, living, and I'm the average age, and uh, they uh, they're a great group of people. I was, uh, felt like I ought to be principal. I spent a lot of time in the office. <laughs> and uh, one of my favorite teachers, and I won't use her name, but su suggested I was educated beyond my intelligence level <laughs> when I was a sophomore. That wasn't so bad I didn't realize I'd been insulted till I was a senior. <laughs> I tell everyone it was easy to make All-American if your batting average is three times your grade point. <laughs> and, uh, I, I played uh, for, for George Brockway. Uh, uh, I lettered in four sports. And uh, the, my eighth grade year was the best two years of my life. <laughs> uh, Mr. Mr. Brockway, uh, it was uh, very important in teaching me uh, responsibility uh, and I have some great classmates here that were in that same class and, and uh, thank you for all for coming. I have a, my wife here, I'd like to have her stand and introduce her. She, uh, She went to Kent Meridian. I proposed to her when she was uh, still in high school. Uh, she's a woman I've been married to for 52 years. I've, I've loved her for 56. And if her mother hadn't been so adamant, we'd probably have 56 years being married. She raised uh, three boys. She said she raised four. She counts me. When I got drafted in the Army, I, I had uh, no idea that I would make a career out of it. While I was in, I got a bachelor's and a master's degree, and 
My favorite teacher who suggested I was educated beyond my intelligence level also suggested that if I ever graduated from college, it would be a cold day in hell. <laughs> it was minus 37 degrees in Omaha, Nebraska. <laughs> And my, my wife and I called uh, uh, this teacher. <laughs> and I, I said uh, her name, and I said, this is Bruce Grant. And she says, I know your voice. <laughs> and uh, I said, I got a bachelor's degree today. And she said, Bruce, that just goes to show how far in the bucket the education system is going. <laughs> So we didn't call when I got my master's degree. <laughs> but the reason I tell you that is because she was a motivator and she was very important to me. And all the teachers that do this kind of work, uh, th thank you. Uh, you're you're going to have some young person that is an average student that uh, is going to somehow get into all sorts of trouble and be able to get out of it. And that was the will that went from, my, from me to my younger brother at Garfield was the ability to get into trouble and out of trouble without any trouble at all. And I've had a life like that, but I've had wonderful friends and great teachers, and uh, I've had a wonderful opportunity in the service of, of my country. And if I had it to do all over again, I would have just married my wife a couple of years earlier. And, uh, she's Our three sons uh, have uh, all of them have master's degrees, at, at least, and uh, two out of three graduated from the UW. So, uh, and Arlene went to Moo U over there. Uh, <laughs> and I'm going to catch hell when I get home. Thank you very much. <laughs> <laughs>